To some people, muscle is everything. They spend their life trying to achieve the perfect muscular body. But for many animals, they don't need to waste their time exercising or using steroid field performance enhancers. They just need protein, good genes, and good old-fashioned anger. From an aggressively alpha male kangaroo to a pit bull, not, not that one. Let's take a look at the 15 most muscular animals in the world. <sighs> Number 15. Roger the Kangaroo in 2015, the world got a glimpse at a new kind of hero. This hero was six feet tall, had bulging veins, and a strong chest. His name was Roger, and he was the strongest kangaroo in the world. And for an animal that can kill with a single kick, that's a pretty incredible achievement. Roger lived at the Kangaroo Sanctuary in Australia's Alice Springs, where he was particularly known to enjoy crushing metal buckets with his paws just for the fun of it. That's basically just rubbing it in for all of us weaklings, isn't it? The sanctuary was actually built to house Roger and, to quote the founder, a couple of his wives. Over time, Roger just happened to become unbelievably muscular to the point that he turned into a viral superstar overnight. It's the kind of success story you read about in hastily written Twitter exclusives only with a kangaroo. Roger the kangaroo was by far the world's strongest and most muscular kangaroo. He was also an alpha male through and through, often chasing human men away if they happened to get too close to one of his wives. I imagine that made life in the kangaroo sanctuary a little bit challenging. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Pitbull No, we're not talking about Mr. Worldwide. Not yet, anyway. We're talking about the breed of dog. Well, technically speaking, the Pitbull itself is not actually a breed of dog, since there are many breeds and mixes of breeds that can be considered Pitbulls. But whatever the semantics, this is a powerful dog. Get over it. It doesn't matter how familiar you may be with dogs, chances are you know exactly what a Pitbull looks like. And the reason for that comes down to two key traits, a muscular body and a blocky scrunched up face, which in my experience often also comes with a human that has an overly muscular body. These animals also know how to use their muscle, frequently getting themselves into internationally recognized incidents that have resulted in them often being described as controversial. I guess that means if a pit bull ever decides to go into politics, it has a good shot at succeeding. Pitbull is one of, if not the most powerful dog in the world. This is an animal of pure muscle, and it has the fiery temperament to demonstrate it. As for Mr. Worldwide, he's not quite muscular enough to be put on the list. But keep it up, buddy! Puedes hacerlo! Number 13. Buff Cat much like how Superman doesn't reflect the realities of the average Joes like you or me, Buff Cat is here to make regular cats feel bad about themselves. And while I am not a cat and do not have access to that world, he probably succeeds. I've seen pictures of cats absolutely raging about this guy. Buff Cat was initially noticed on the streets of Montreal, Canada, and I doubt anybody expected him to become quite as big, literally and figuratively, as he did. The second a photo of this big, beefy kitty was posted online, he became an internet sensation, with his Twitter page generating over 17,000 followers and sparking some uh, classic memes. And as we all know, when you're a meme, You've really made it. Many users were initially concerned that Buff Cat had some kind of severe health problem, but experts claim that he has a rare genetic disorder that makes animals double-muscled. Basically, he has genetic steroids. If you listen carefully, you can hear the bodybuilders throwing their dumbbells in anger. Buff Cat has yet to save any of his regular companions, but I will continue with the Superman comparisons. You don't get this naturally buff without harboring some hidden superpowers. And I should know, I'm not naturally buff, but I have no powers whatsoever. Yet. Number 12. Belgian Blue Cow 
If you're looking for a species of animal that is just rife with muscular specimens, look no further than the world of cattle. Whether cows or bulls, these things are just packed full of beefy muscle, literally. The Belgian blue cow is probably the most gifted in that regard. The Belgian blue cow is one of the most extremely muscled animals you'll ever see, thanks to a condition known as double muscling. As a result of this condition, they naturally develop well-defined backs and limbs, with bulls weighing up to 2,755 pounds. That's almost pure muscle. However, despite their huge weight and their intimidating stature, these cows are generally quite docile and gentle. They may be big, but they're more interested in eating and standing around all day than, I don't know, tackling a six-year-old. The Belgian blue cow is probably the most muscular breed of cattle in the world. If you'll remember the cow tipping craze, this is probably the animal that brought an end to it. Hell, anybody that even attempted to push this thing over would probably end up breaking their back. Number 11. Tiger as the largest cat anywhere in the world, it stands to reason that the tiger would be incredibly muscular. And after all, they eat so much meat. Their protein numbers must be off the chart. But the tiger is not like any other muscular big cat. I mean, it doesn't have any superpowers or anything, but uh, just stick with me. Your average tiger can weigh up to 670 pounds, most of that muscle. But despite this vast weight, they don't act in nearly the way you'd expect. While other animals find their weight to be something of a hindrance in the hunting game, the tiger still manages to move silently. And if it happens to find something it wants, you bet it can run like the wind. These animals aren't like those guys at the gym that focus on their glamour muscles. A tiger has a practical use for its muscles. It uses them to catch and kill. The tiger has more than earned its place on this list. I don't think you'll find a more muscular cat anywhere outside of cartoons. And even Top Cat isn't all that bulky. Number 10. Indian Gorilla even though our planet is filled with beautiful gorillas, India surprisingly has no native species. It does, however, have a few specimens living in its zoos, and believe me, some of them are pretty formidable creatures. They'd rip Curious George limb from limb. Sorry to any parents watching this. Take a look at this video showing one of India's largest captive gorillas. <laughs> This incredible animal is a silverback, and it's easy to see why it's one of the most feared creatures in the animal kingdom. The video shows the gorilla presumably going through its looking how strong I am daily activities, flipping wooden logs, chasing smaller gorillas, and pounding on its chest. While the gorilla clearly likes to push the others around, you can guarantee that none of them would dare mess with him too much. With his arms and legs like that, they wouldn't stand a chance. This this silverback is easily one of the largest in the country, and it knows it. After all, you don't pound on your chest if you know that a weak human could take you down. No, this guy is the king. King Kong, but smaller. Number 9. Beluga Whale While all whales tend to appear pretty muscular, the beluga whale is almost like a whole other species. As one of the smallest whale species, you'd think this thing would be trailing behind the others like a child brought to shop with his family at an Ikea. But actually, you'd be very wrong. This child could beat up any of those flat pack tables. Bad analogy, but I think you get where I'm going with it. While around 40% of the beluga whale's body comprises blubber, the other 60% is almost all muscle. This gives their bodies a much more defined, muscular appearance than some other blubbery species. In fact, there have been many videos circulating the internet of buff beluga whales flexing their muscles to impress the nearby females. And if the videos are anything to go by, it worked. I guess all species are the same, eh? Unsurprisingly, the beluga's muscles contain their very own protein, myoglobin. So, while I'm not a marine biologist, it makes sense that they would have such defined muscles if you have protein coursing through your veins, as many bodybuilders do. You're destined to be a hulk of a man. I should clarify, please do not inject yourself with chicken. It won't work. You'll just end up in the ER, trust me. Number 8. 
giant African bullfrog. Yes, frogs can be muscular too. When you're one of the larger amphibians, willing to eat just about any meat you come across, it turns out that you can actually turn yourself into a kind of slimy John Cena. Whether or not you can see him, well, that's another matter. The giant African bullfrog is one of the world's largest frogs, with males usually weighing up to around three pounds. But as I mentioned a moment ago, the real reason these things become quite so muscular is mostly down to diet. The giant African bullfrog is strictly carnivorous, and I mean that. This thing is known to eat insects, small rodents, reptiles, birds, and other amphibians, including its own species. They have been known to eat the tadpoles they're supposed to be guarding. It's not exactly the Mary Poppins school of babysitting, but it's a different culture, I guess. So it turns out that, yes, frogs can, in fact, become extremely muscular. To what cost? Well, you have to endure a protein-only diet, including other members of your species, and you have to be willing to tear your family apart while eating your own kids. I don't see it catching on, to be totally honest. Number 7. Pick there seems to be an unfair consensus that all pigs are fat. Well, I'm here to tell you that, broadly, yes, that's true. But there are exceptions, as there are to just about everything. And in the case of pigs, there are hulking beasts of pork you've never even heard of. Thankfully, these muscular specimens are not naturally evolved super pigs, but the creation of some presumably well-meaning Cambodian farmers. Well, actually, it depends on who you ask. Experts claim that this kind of muscular pork chop could only be the product of genetic experimentation, using the kind of steroids you'd expect from the overly friendly European man in your local gym. But the farmers responsible insist that the whole thing is natural, the result of a condition that creates double muscling animals. Whoever you choose to believe, the conclusion is the same. This is weird. Even the most open-minded animal lover will probably find the idea of a muscular pig somewhat off-putting. These are the animals that gave us the saying, pig out, bro. Well, they didn't invent it. I hope not anyway. If a muscular pig is off-putting, a talking one would be, babe, pig in the city. Yeah, no thank you. Number six, boar goat. Of all the goats in the world, there's only one that could kick the ass of just about every other breed, the boar goat. This is a South African breed known for its surprisingly muscular appearance. While the young may seem small and cute, the mature specimens could probably break your legs if they wanted. The boar goat is a versatile breed often used for land maintenance, meat, and probably some competitive goat weightlifting. Well, the last one isn't a thing, but if it was, you can bet the boar goat would be at the top of the leaderboard. The boar goat is often used as a show goat, an animal specifically raised to be shown off in contests designed for people who just like goats so much that they want to rate them in a series of unusual categories. No judgments from me. I once bought a book about the world's smartest pigs. The boar goat is not like any other goat. This is a muscular, built breed, not unlike celebrated WWE legend Hulk Hogan. And much like Hulk, the silk and hair of the goat brings a kind of charm to the species that makes you think, who is this magnificent specimen? And what makes him tick? Pasta, probably. What were we talking about? Number five, Swan. You're probably imagining a swan as an elegant, graceful animal, lashing out at just about anybody who happens to cross its path. But did you know that the swan is actually a very muscular animal? Apparently, it takes a lot of strength to attack random members of the public. Because they're such huge birds, swans require a lot of strength to move their wings. As anybody that has ever done push-ups or bench presses will tell you, moving your arms often leads to strong chest muscles. Now take that logic and apply it to a big bird. Not the big bird, although a muscular big bird would be... Uh, just imagine that. Sesame Street would never be the same. 
Wait, sorry, <laughs> where was I? Ah, uh, yes, um, swans. Thanks to that structural necessity, the swan is basically built like a tank, but with wings instead of the tank wheel thingies. Swans have a well-earned reputation as one of the most aggressive and difficult birds anywhere in the world, and me praising their impressive muscles is probably not going to quell their ego. But also, they could beat the hell out of me and they're very mean, so I love swans and they're the best and have great muscles and thanks just for being a swan. Number 4. Deer Antlers Every now and then, we like to bend the rules of our own lists just to make sure that you're paying attention, but also because I believe that everybody deserves something to complain about. So happy birthday to you, Deer Antlers. Muscular, sure. Why not? While there aren't actually muscles inside a deer's antlers, there is an unusual kind of tissue inside that functions not unlike a muscle. Much like how muscles grow gradually, deer antlers grow up to an inch every day, making this tissue one of the fastest growing areas on the planet. The antlers start growing in the springtime and are usually full grown and hardening by fall. Like muscles, every antler is entirely unique and depends entirely on diet, health, and age. So technically, I wasn't really wrong. I look forward to your polite and friendly comments. While they may not be muscular in the traditional sense, deer antlers are incredibly strong, and they're fortified in a way not unlike muscles on the body of a living creature. Although they probably wouldn't be able to lift any kind of weights, actually we don't know that. But somebody in the comments will correct that. I guess I have it coming. Number 3. Sean the Sheep No, not the kid's cartoon, although I hear he's looking pretty buff of late. We are talking about a different kind of bulky sheep. This Sean the Sheep is probably one of the world's biggest sheep, just in terms of wool if nothing else. Apparently at his peak, Sean weighed upwards of 44 pounds and was discovered wandering through the Australian countryside alone. His adoptive owners have said that they believe he was out in the wild alone for around six years and that he likely never had his wool cut whatsoever. While they believe that his impressive weight was the result of the sheer volume of wool, it seems that Sean John may actually also have developed some kind of impressive muscles. After all, six years of wandering the wild with that much wool is probably going to help you develop some remarkable strength, even for a sheep. Sean's owners later revealed plans to shear the animal, hoping that he could break the record for the most fleece-yielding animal. Probably, but how are we not talking about the immense strength he must have developed out there? I bet he's like the Hulk. Number 2. Cape Buffalo The Cape Buffalo is one of the most stunning beautiful animals nature has given us. They're also one of the most dangerous due to their immense weight, power, and those incredibly sharp horns. But we're going to focus on their muscle. Spoiler, but it's intense. You only have to take one look at the Cape Buffalo to know that these things are muscular, immensely powerful animals. There are so many stories about cornered Cape Buffalo lashing out and killing hunters. Although, you know, if you're a hunter who gets killed by the animal you're hunting, you could probably class that up as an occupational hazard or slash and karma. These animals can stand up to five and a half feet tall and measure up to 11 feet in length. The average female, meanwhile, weighs up to 2,000 pounds. That is a lot of muscle. You don't have to be a genius to know that the Cape Buffalo is one of the strongest animals on the planet. If they truly felt like it, they could kill you without the use of their horns. They could just step on you. And wouldn't that be a cause of death for the books? Number 1. Bear you know what? We can't even narrow this one down. There is not a single species of bear anywhere in the world that is not pure muscle. Brown bears, black bears, grizzlies, polar, even panda bears. All of them are so heavy, so muscular, that it wouldn't even be an effort to inflict harm on another being. For some people, there's no greater joy than in helping to raise a 1,400 plus pound bear. Presumably that's because you're grateful to wake up every day knowing that it hasn't killed you yet. Still, these animals are some of the most powerful predators globally, with more power in their paws than in some special 
specialist equipment. There are so many horror stories of people dying at the hands of bears that it's crazy people even go out looking for them. I guess what I'm trying to say is, yes, I think a bear should be in the next Fast and Furious movie. I stand by it. Bears are no joke. These animals are terrifying, fierce predators whose body is pure muscle. There's no coming back from that one. Unless you're somehow able to charm a bear into being more Winnie the Pooh and less… Man, movies don't have a single evil bear, do they? Look, unless it's a Care Bear, stay away. Which of these animals do you think could beat a WWE professional in a hypothetical fight? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.